teeth and go to bed. And don't wake your baby sister. What's the matter? No babysitter. There are dozens of babysitters in the neighborhood. Well, not for my dear brother. He's been declared out of bounds. Have you tried the employment agencies? They don't have babysitters. Well, it looks like my understudy will have to go on tonight. Start calling every employment agency till you find one that's open. Get somebody. Anybody. It sounds like a bad idea, but I'll do it. And I'll handle my pal Donald. It's pretty reckless driving. I'll say this. You ought to watch where you're going, big boy. Uh, what are you trying to do? Get away? Uh, out of my way. Out of my way, shorty. I ought to run you in for this. You're big enough to carry me in. Uh, officer, we're terribly sorry. Well, all right, but don't let this happen again. Right. Now get off of my car. What are you going to do with that? Put it away. Well, keep it there. Yes. Uh-huh. I'd better hang up. We've been talking for ten minutes. Here comes my heavy date for tonight. Bye. Who are you calling a heavy date? You. Can you wait outside for five minutes? Or will you get a ticket? Well, if I do, I can get it fixed. I have influence. Don't do that! Why don't you look where you're going? See you outside, baby. What do you see in a tall, dark, handsome fella? Plenty. Girls never say that to me. What do they say to you? Shh, not in mixed company. Cosman Employment Agency. 
Yes, I have been on the phone for quite a while. I'm sorry, we don't list babysitters. Uh, just a minute, lady. You are, looking, you are looking at the world's greatest babysitter. That's right, yeah. miss. Sure. He is the best. Where do you fit into this? Well, I'm his agent. Yes. He lets me keep 10% of everything I earn. I'm sorry I took so long, but fortunately, a professional babysitter just came in. May I have your address, please? Thank you. He'll be right out. Goodbye. Oh, thank you, miss. Gee, you're wonderful. I like girls like you. Eyes of blue and five feet two. Timber! Sorry to be late. It's okay. Shall we go? You mean you and I are going out together? You see, Dink, I have a way with girls. Please. Now, listen. Yes, Daddy. He's so big. Come on, we've got a babysit. Get with it. Why are you so clumsy? I'm excited. Why? This is my first job. Gee, I hope he's a sweet child. Oh. I love children. Come on. It's about time they got here. Are you the... Uh, babysitter? Uh, he sure is. You're kind of big for a baby. <laughs> You're not for me. Oh, uh, reject it again. I guess it isn't my night. Won't you come in? Uh, sure. Sure. Well, who will be plenty com comfortable here? Well, it's too late to get anyone else. Have you had much experience with babies? Oh, yes, sir. I've been a baby all my life. Uh, uh, don't you worry about Jack. Uh, the kids just love him. He makes them feel so superior. In which they are. Sure. Well, they're both sound asleep, and I'm sure you won't hear a sound out of them all night. But if you need anything... Oh, no, madam. I won't need a thing. I'm prepared for everything. No one's prepared for Donald. Hmm. Well, good luck, and we'll be home after 11. Oh, you're going out right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, costumes. Going to a masquerade ball? No, a play. Play? Kids are going to play. May I see you out the door? Excuse me. May I help you? Oh, miss, in case I want to see the children, just where are they? Oh, they're in the bedroom down the hall. Thank you. Okay. High class, huh? Music to my ears. My first victim. Duty calls. See you, Mr. Dinkle. This calls for action. Quiet. Want to wake up your sweet little brother? Now what seems to be in trouble? Have a nice snack. This is my real business. I know kids. Good night. Get me a glass of milk. What'd you say? I said, get me a glass of milk. This is unbelievable. This kid talks better than me. You're not very bright. I'm sorry, kid. But uh, what school did you go to? The baby isn't talking. I am. I know you're talking, but who? I'm talking over here. This kid ain't even moving her lips. This is a baby ventriloquist. I'm talking over here. I know it's you. I mean, I'm... You... <laughs> you! What's your name? Donald. Are you a good boy? No, it's not my nature. I'm a problem child. You're a little kid. He's a problem child. Just like me, I think. Would you like to have me read you a story before you fall asleep? That's been tried, too. <coughs> oh, this kid can try, too. I'm going to you, I ought to... I ought to... I ought to... Jack and the Beanstalk. My favorite novel. Donald, can I read this to you? Well, 
I want to keep you happy. Let's hear how it goes. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> Once upon a time, that's pretty exciting, isn't it? Once upon a time, a whole village was ter... A whole village was ter... Terrorized. Yeah. Yeah. The whole village was terrorized by a fur... A fur... Ferocious. Yeah. Donald, do me a favor. This is a very exciting book about the giant and everything. Will you read it to me? Please, I can't get over the big words. Only because I'm fascinated by you. Here, hold my club. Yes, fascinated. Once upon a time, a whole village was terrorized mm -hmm. by a ferocious giant yeah. who lived in a castle in the sky. In this village lived a simple peasant boy named Jack and his widowed mother. They had come upon hard times because of the giant. One day, Jack was told to bring their only cow to the market and sell him for food. Jack, being a very stupid old I could have a glass of water. Yes, Your Highness. Princess, I would have brung you to water. I'm a little tired of people waiting on me. It must be wonderful to be allowed to do everything you want to, whenever you want to. Oh, you don't get around much, do you? Well, what do you mean? You mean you haven't heard? There's no food in the village. The giant, he's taken everything. He's even taken your father's crown jewels, didn't he? And that's why I have to marry Prince Arthur. Well, isn't it a love match? I've never even seen him. But his people have money. Did you ever have to marry a man you've never seen? They, they tell me I'm a boy. But thank you for the water. Thank you, Your Highness. And Princess, remember, have courage. Fear nothing when you're in the right. That's my motto. Jack, you must stop talking to yourself. I wasn't talking to myself, Mother. I was talking to the Princess Eloise. Princesses don't talk to peasant boys. Oh, Jack, when are you going to grow up and get some sense? Does one go with the other? Jack, I've come to a very important decision. You're not going to give me away? No. If we're not to starve, I'll have to sell our last valuable possession. No. You're not going to sell the cow. She has to go. Fetch me a pail of water and then be on your way. Yes, Mother. Now look, Henry. This is the last time I'm going to let you look. You look beautiful. You and I are going to part very soon. You are... The only thing I, I love. Now, this is the last look you're going to get, Henry. Take a look. Don't you look pretty? Oh, parting is such sorrow. We gotta go, Henry. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. 
Tell me, young fellow, will this road take me to the royal palace? No, sir, but your horse will. Say, you're Prince Arthur. So they tell me. Oh, boy, will the princess be surprised. Princess Eloise? Mm-hmm. You should have heard what she said about you this morning. No worse than I said about her. Any girl who will marry a man for his father's money. Uh-oh. The giant! It's the giant, Henry. But you're safe with me. I won't let him take you. See? What did I tell you, Henry? I protected you. Now look, Henry. I gotta go tell the prince about the bad giant they hear. Hey, prince. Where did you go? Oh, come on. This is no time to play games. Oh, prince. Oh, prince. Hey, prince. <laughs> But why don't you have any cloth? My good woman, for cloth you need wool, and for wool you need sheep, and someone stole all our sheep. Oh, I don't believe that silly story about the giant. Oh, there's a giant all right, Mrs. Murgatroyd, because I saw him. You see a lot of things that other people don't. Did you really see him, Jack? I saw his shadow. How do you know it was the giant shadow? That's a very good question. Goodbye. Where are you taking that cow? I'm going to take my cow to Mr. Dinklepush the butcher. What's all the excitement? You have a whole cow. Hey, don't you try to deceive us. You're not going to hold this one for the black market. The idea of selling those less sirloin steaks for seven cents a pound. There ought to be a law. Oh, ladies, 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 I haven't seen a cow around here for months. But you bring somebody to me with such an animal. I'll reward him like he's never been rewarded in his life. I'll make him rich, richer beyond his dreams. I'll pour gold into his pocket. I'll pour gold so deep that... Wait a minute. Not that scrawny animal. <laughs> You're not trying to pawn him off to me as first-grade beef. Why well, wouldn't let my worst customer use him for stew? Her. And I love Henry. Well, everybody to their taste, but come inside, Jack, and I'll give you the best deal that I can afford. Come on, Henry. Imagine that. I mean, all the beef we haven't had, and you look at this big cow. I'd like to get some of that. I certainly would, too. What's she doing? Hey, what's the idea of that? Well, I don't want everyone to know how generous I am. Oh, how much are you going to give me for the cow? Well, you're asking money for that wonderful animal? I was going to give you beans. What do I want with beans? What do you want with my magic beans? I should have my head examined. <laughs> for trying to make you rich. Money you're asking for, eh? I'll give you money. Worthless money. How much do you want? Any price at all. How much? Now, wait a minute, Mr. Dinkopus. I, I don't want that worthless money. Either I get the magic beans or I take Henry home. Oh, you, you strike a hard bargain, boy. No beans, no cow. Well, I know when I'm licked. Now, come on out in the garden. I keep my beans hidden out there. Come on. Magic beans. You've got to get up awfully early in the morning to put anything over on me. Come on, Henry. Let's go, Henry. Henry? One, two, three. Four. Now, they must be around here someplace. You've got to keep them buried, you know. You can't let the village know where these magic beans are. They're priceless. There they are. My magic beans. Don't tell anybody that I gave them to you, will you? Yes, sir. Shh. It's a secret. But I'll never realize, I'll never know how you ever talked me out of them. Mr. Dinklepuss. What? Can I say goodbye to Henry? Well, surely, go ahead. Alone. Alone? Right ahead. I gotta say goodbye now. Be a good boy for Mr. Dinklepuss. 
Do you mind if I kiss you goodbye? Henry? He is such a good pal. The princess. The giant has stolen the princess. Henry, you hear what they're yelling? The giant, the giant the has kidnapped the princess. Goodbye, Henry. I've been robbed. 